Hey guys, this is Bruce from Be Cool Radios over here in Seattle. Today's video, we're going to talk about a Cobra 2000 GTL. Very custom and unique. It's got about all the features you could possibly want. It's got the blue LEDs, the white meters with the blue backgrounds, and a blue channel readout too. Yeah, Be Cool Radios, we went through and restored this whole radio top to bottom took everything off polish those knobs look at that with mothers yeah <laughs> looks really good it's really the inside that matters right this radio came in yeah unfortunately you know like a lot of these radios on eBay they show their age you know they're from 1980 good 30 years of uh, age is not always good on them so this radio had a few items that were just not up to par I had to go through there and put a new crystal in there you see that crystal has been replaced the old one wasn't very stable and I replaced that PLL chip it had the MB7834 chip which you can't program it's also got new caps in the PLL circuit over here in the sideband detector circuit, down here in the microphone preamp, and of course over here in the audio AM section as well. It's got a new AM voltage regulator. Yeah, and I wasn't really happy with the receipt performance. It was pretty good, but I, I've seen so many of these, I know when they're good and bad. So I had to go and replace a couple of these cans down here in the IF stage, just to get a little extra boost. Yeah, the frequency counter was bad in this guy. Like so many you see out there, they flicker or make weird things. So I decided to change it out with a blue frequency counter. Changed out those bad meters with brand new meters, white backgrounds and the blue LEDs. Check that out. And I hand built this blue 40 channel LED board. I'll show you some of that. I also went through and replaced all of the LED indicator lights. The AM sideband, transmit, receive. Put brand new meters in there. And there's the new frequency counter too. In fact, you can see here, here's all the components that I replaced in this guy. A couple stuck old meters. We call these capacitors the 10 volt blues. Most of them are the blues, but they're, they only use 10 volt caps in these. And really that was kind of cheaping out. So I replaced these caps with 25 volt new caps. This crystal here, usually these are good crystals, but again, yeah, age just took its time. I had to put a new crystal in there, get the frequency to become stable. Really, a lot of work went into this guy. It's work most people wouldn't do, but we love these Cobras. And this one's very unique. It was worth fixing. Now it's got, with the new PLL chip here, we can program the pins to go all the way up to channel 80, 28045, in fact. It goes below channel 40 just a little bit. All right, we're gonna button this up, give you an on-air demonstration. 73 is Be Cool Radios, Seattle, Washington. guy here is over in Minnesota you can hear him here in Seattle just on this little 
behind the set antenna I got using here for testing. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. And I agree, it is a lot of fun making skip. Get up there sometime, man, with the Russians. It's a lot of fun. Although I do have to say, I feel a little weird talking to them because because of the war. But we never mentioned anything about the war. Go ahead. I want to talk to you about some of the extra work that went into this guy. We'll start off here with the PLL chip. Yeah, this PLL chip here had to be replaced because, you know, about 20-30% of these Cobra 2000s have a PLL chip that can't be programmed for extra channels. They got the MB34 chip. So you got to put a 7819 chip in there and then you're going to have access to the pins to uh, get you some extra channels. So that takes an extra bit of work to do that in these. So you can see here these capacitors are pretty critical. That one there for the regulator for the whole board on the 8 volt rail. That's been replaced. This crystal here really helps put a new crystal in these guys. These new crystals are very, very stable. As far as modulation goes, you can see here I've replaced the caps in the microphone circuit. But on this radio when I got it in, the mod limiter was removed. Well, Be Cool Radio says that's not cool. Just grab a good power mic. We've got other ways to deal with that. You remove that mod limiter and it ruins the sideband control. It's wide open, so that's not cool. So I put that transistor back in, TR43 there, and what we do for AM is we open up R131. Now that's for the AM side only, it has nothing to do with the sideband, so your sideband control is still working really good. There's a few caps in here that are known to short out to ground and take out the audio or the mic it could be a number of things so that's why be cool radios go through and change these capacitors no I don't go through and change all the capacitors in the radio you know that's way too much work and uh, you know a lot of times that extra heat and whatnot kind of damages those boards yeah and a lot of them aren't that critical I tend to focus on those critical caps here on the back side, I'll show you what we do too. You can kind of see here the work. There's there's the pin mod for the extra channels. That comes up here to the switch. Six position switch over here. We also tie the eight volt regulator straight to the clarifier circuit for making sure everybody's stable on the same page and then back here you're gonna see what I call the negative peak compression mod at least half of it not the voltage part just the audio part so what this does is because you open up the audio for AM to make them nice and loud this compresses the negative peaks to actually get you loud modulation that's not overly loud and distorted yeah, it chops off those negative peaks, which gives you a louder envelope to talk into. So that that's pretty true. Really works too. And you can see everything's nice and tidy over here. I had to remove the headphone jack to put that switch in there. So you see the headphone jack is still there. It's in that little bag, but I've zip tied it to the side. And down here, this is the eight volt regulator for the frequency counter gets its own little separate regulator so just keep these uh, the noise out of these uh, frequency counters at 12 volts they kind of scream at you they'll bleed into the radio and that's not good to hear okay yeah that's about it for this video I'll show you a couple more things here these are brand new meters yeah, the original meters in this radio, yeah, they were stuck like you see them all the time on eBay. Yeah, sometimes you can recover those meters, you know, with an adjustment. But a lot of times they're just gummied up and they're, they're just not fixable. 
So this guy had brand new meters installed and what I did is I got custom white backgrounds. Um, you can see there I put in some dark blue LEDs to match this uh, frequency counter and channel readout. If this camera just doesn't capture it. It's a dark beautiful blue. So just note that. Also this channel readout board here. You see that in there? Yeah I had a build that by hand because you know the red LEDs are an old-school design yeah there's no blue substitutes for those you can see the wiring there is nice and tidied everything's zip tied down this is where the frequency counter gets tied into right here run through a coax cable over here to the back side of the frequency counter yeah it fits in that window real nice All right, that's some of the magic that I do over here at Be Cool Radios. You know, it took me hours and hours of tech time to do this. There's no way you could pay somebody to do this work if they were true tech and got paid right hours, right? Now, I do this for the love of the CBs. I restore these radios in my spare time. Put a lot of elbow grease into this thing. Yeah, I'm not going to show you the condition this radio was when I got it in, but uh, it was typical eBay find. Dirty old radio with 30 years of use. People love these Cobra 2000s, and they probably used them every day. All right, that's just the work it takes to make these guys back to their glory. 73s, be cool radios. Seattle, Washington.